Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. Today we've got the best grow light for a four foot by two foot or 1.2 by 0.6 meter grow tent or grow area. One of my favorite sizes of grow tent is the four by two. Really nice size. You can see it just there in the back for um, fitting into maybe an alcove in a room. It doesn't take too much uh, space up, it can be pushed against a wall. You can access all the tent really easily and plenty of area to grow enough for um, to keep one person very happy. Um, the way I've arranged these lights, so they're all the grow lights that I've tested. It's not a complete list of every grow light on the market, just the ones I've tested. And it, I'm going to read them out in order. The list is generated in order of the best value, and that is the cost of purchasing the grow light plus the cost of delivering um, 800 micromoles in a 4x2 um, over a three-year period. That's a 12 hours a day at the US average, current average of 16.8 cent per kilowatt hour. It'll obviously vary depending where you are. If you've got a really high electricity cost, you might want to go for the more efficient lights that reduce your running cost over time, albeit you're paying a little bit more up front. I'm not going to talk too much about spectrum. All these lights are full spectrum. They're all suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. And um, yeah, no, uh, no need to um, go into depths with Spectrum, basically. They're all very much the same. So starting with the first uh, light on the list, it's the Spider Farmer SF2000. Uh, basic panel light, um, driver on the bar, uh, quite a simple design, um, full Spectrum. 210 watts from the wall, delivering an average power of 579, which is a little on the lower end with efficiency of 1.99, which is pretty low these days um, and not the best spread of any of these lights available, uh, but a decent uh, fixture overall. Then we've got the Mars Hydro SP3000. Haven't really liked these fixtures. They're a single bar light with the um, and a complex heat sink on the back and the driver mounted on top. Uh, really nice build quality, very solid and a nice big long fixture to fit into that 4x2. Um, consumes 295 watts, so quite a high wattage. Delivers an average of 898 micromoles, which is really good. You get a good yield with this uh, fixture. Efficiency of 2.2. Um, which is good again and um, yeah it delivers a nice even spread also. Next is the HLG 350R Diablo. Um, it's a quantum board light, um, can fit a, a 4x2 up to a 5 foot by 3 foot. Uh, it's a relatively high wattage at 334 watts um, and delivers a massive 1,088 micromoles in that four foot by two foot space um, with really good even coverage efficiency of 2.51. So the most efficient light on this list. Um, so yeah, really good fixture. Then we have the Atrium Hydra 3200. Um, this is a bar light. Quite a light fixture, um, lightweight I mean in terms of construction, um, not the most robust fixture that I've come across. You know, LED bar type, uh, it's 318 watts from the wall, um, 1024 average which is really good, uh, efficiency of 2.3 and uh, which is a good system efficiency and nice even spread. A US company as well um, if you want to order US. Then we have the Viper Spectra P2000. Uh, it's been around for a while now, but still pretty solid light. Panel light, good build quality, a single um, fixture with the driver mounted on the back. Full spectrum, uh, just touching on 200 watts, an average of 547 micromoles, which again is not really pushing um, as hard as you could in terms of, of getting the most out of the space. Efficiency of 2.0, which is a bit on the lower end. Um, so it's a bit underpowered, the spread isn't great, but um, it is a good, um, a low um, priced fixture. So maybe suitable if you're uh, just looking to start off on a budget. It then got our own Migro Array 4 here. Four bar light, uh, remote driver, full spectrum, um, high efficiency, um, and um, average power of 811. So right up there in terms of getting the, the most out of your um, 
your space and uh, high efficiency as I said at 2.34 micromoles per watt um, delivered to the plant canopy. Um, and top of the list is the Spider Farmer G4500. Um, now this is a very high powered light for 4x2, it's 432 watts from the wall. This is definitely CO2 only really. Um, it's a self-assembly bar light uh, with the remote driver um, or you can mount it on the back of the light or have it remote, has uh, sufficiently long cables. But the average power is 1378 micromoles, so it's, it's right up there in the um, end uh, where you would really need to be supplementing with CO2 to make the most of that really high power intensity. Efficiency of 2.3 micromoles per watt, which is really good also. So overall, big range of lights for you to choose from. Uh, in this space, um, lots of good solutions. I'd be very interested to hear if any of you have run any of these lights, what you think. Um, give us some of your feedback on sort of long term reliability if you've had them for a while and uh, what sort of yields you're getting with them. Looking forward to your feedback. Take care.